Coral reefs are some of the most diverse and vibrant ecosystems on our planet. They are home to countless species of fish, plants and other marine life. But these stunning and delicate structures are facing a grave threat – coral reef bleaching. Bleaching occurs when corals expel the algae that live within their tissues. The algae provide the coral with vital nutrients and give it its beautiful colours. When the algae are expelled, the coral turns white, hence the term bleaching. This is often triggered by changes in water temperature, pollution or other stresses. One of the main causes of coral reef bleaching is rising sea temperatures due to climate change. As the water warms, corals become stressed and expel the algae. This leaves the coral weak and vulnerable to disease, starvation and death. In recent years, we have witnessed widespread and devastating coral bleaching events, with some reefs losing up to 95% of their coral cover. But it's not just rising temperatures that are causing bleaching. Pollution from agricultural runoff, sewage and other human activities can also contribute to bleaching events. These pollutants can block the sunlight that corals need to survive, leading to stress and bleaching. The impacts of coral bleaching are far-reaching and devastating. When corals die, the entire reef ecosystem suffers. Fish and other marine life that depend on the reefs for food and shelter are left without a home. The loss of coral reefs also has significant implications for coastal communities that rely on them for tourism, fishing and shoreline protection. The loss of coral reefs is not just a local issue, it is a global one. Coral reefs provide numerous benefits to the planet and its inhabitants. They support the livelihoods of millions of people, protect shorelines from erosion and storms, and act as nurseries for fish and other marine species. They are often referred to as the rainforests of the sea due to their incredible biodiversity. So what can be done to save our reefs? The first and most important step is to address the root cause of bleaching, climate change. We must take collective action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and limit global warming. This means transitioning to renewable energy sources, reducing our carbon footprint and advocating for strong environmental policies. Additionally, we need to mitigate the other stresses that contribute to bleaching. This includes reducing pollution and improving water quality, protecting coral reefs from physical damage and implementing sustainable fishing practices. There is hope for our coral reefs, but time is of the essence. We must act now to protect and restore these precious ecosystems before it's too late. By raising awareness, supporting conservation efforts and pushing for stronger environmental policies, we can make a difference. The fate of coral reefs is in our hands. Let's come together and ensure a vibrant and healthy future for these incredible ecosystems. Our planet and future generations are counting on us.